My name is Corinne May Bops, and I'm a recipient of the 2019 Young Arts Baxter Street Residency. Yes, I named this group show Bodies of Work because it's interested in the relationship between the physical body and the body of work. And if you notice in that exhibition, there's a lot of artists who use their own body as a source of knowledge and material, and a lot of unconventional materials being used, like Marina Barrio using, uh, making gum bichromate prints out of her menstrual blood, and then Cao Yu using her breast milk for fountain. It's like very beautiful against this black background. A lot of the pieces in the show have to do with intimacy and love, but also separation and the idea of like laboring, actual labor and the laboring of the artwork um, and those sort of those sort of connections. It's so wonderful to work with these artists professionally and to see how the pieces interact in the space. So it's been like very exciting to be, you know, to curate this show. Um, Baxter Street is such an amazing organization in terms of supporting artists and so is Young Arts. So it makes sense that they um, have sort of joined forces. There's still stigma, I think, in the art world around making work about motherhood. They think it's gonna be like sentimental because like throughout art history we have men representing what motherhood is to us and it's this like self-sacrificing, romanticized, idealized type of motherhood. Um, so yeah, lactation rooms to me seem like this really, one hitting on a blind spot in culture in terms of people even knowing about lactation rooms, but also just this different way of depicting motherhood. So again, this like way that, you know, the maternal body I think is so at odds with the structure of the workplace, that how we've established it in our culture. And so you kind of like banish it away to these rooms and they like implemented these rooms as if it would solve a problem, but really, um, you know, it doesn't because we still don't have paid <laughs> parental leave, which is the most important part. You can see these rooms are kind of lacking and a lot of them look almost like medical spaces. They're very um, bland. There's not much decoration. Um, but yeah, just larger, and then just larger issues of responses and just like ignorance within the workplace. People don't know, a lot of well-meaning people just don't even know why you need to pump and what it entails. And so even though the rooms themselves sometimes feel lonely and isolating, which motherhood can be for the first year, you know, um, I think it also gives a sense of like community with all these women. When you do have a kid, you enter in this tribe of motherhood <laughs> and it feels like so much bigger than you. At the same time, it can be simultaneously very isolating and lonely that first year when you're trying to figure all these things out. And like I said, people, you know, don't tell you a lot of things. They don't talk about <laughs> a lot of things about pregnancy. They don't talk about a lot of things after you have a child, you know, as you, that you go through physically. And then women return to work so quickly and they're leaving their child and they're juggling these new expectations and sometimes biases in the workplace. So it's just an intense year. And so for me, when I like meet with these women and take the pictures, it's really, um, really interesting conversations. You know, hopefully things are, are starting to, to change. I like to think of this show as part of that change.